The other day, I was quietly taking a nap when this happened. What? Who's banging on my house? And then it happened again. Gosh darn squirrels. I wasn't 100% sure I knew who was making all that racket, but I had my suspicions. A couple days earlier, I had seen a hole in a tree by my yard, so I decided to set up a camera and just let it sit there for a couple minutes to see if anything was home. And sure enough, there was. Wait, run it back. Aha! There. See those orange wings? That's a northern flicker. And to be more specific, it's a red-shafted northern flicker, the western variety as opposed to the eastern yellow-shafted northern flicker. And as it turned out, it was a pair of northern flickers, banging on my roof to establish their territory and also making a nest. Like other woodpeckers, flickers can make their own nest by drilling into rotten trees. It takes them about 14 days to build a nest, and they can be 6 to 18 inches deep. Inside the nest, the flickers will lay about 5 to 8 eggs, and after 11 days, they'll hatch. Both the male and the female flicker will incubate the eggs. The female flicker has no markings on its face, and the male has a red mustache. Both male and female flickers have a white rump patch above their tail that's easy to spot as they fly away through the forest. Northern flickers are unusual among woodpeckers in that they spend a lot of time on the ground. The reason for this is their love of ants and beetles. A cool adaptation shared by northern flickers and other woodpeckers is their stiff tail feathers that act as a backstop to help them balance when they're perching vertically on tree trunks. I think flickers are pretty amazing. So I'm not mad about them banging on my gutters. I think I'll put out a camera here in the next week or two and see if I can get some pictures of some baby flickers learning to fly around the neighborhood.